Hello Cancer, this is your reading for your love life in March. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Crosswatchers Welcome. If you are new here and you like what you see, feel free to hit the subscribe button as we try. I want to get one more please for it. As we try and get our channel to a thousand this month, a thousand subscribers. There's plenty more videos like this as well. Lots of zodiac readings, lots of pick of cards. No. Spirit said no. Chiron healing at the bottom of the deck, okay? Everyone is healing something at the moment. Eighth house intimacy, okay? So this is like, um, I mean, it's intimacy in self as well, but this is like sex, death, transformation, occult, magic, taboos. Yeah. The underworld. You've got Saturn and wisdom. Resourcefulness, resourcefulness. Using what you've got. Taking responsibility. Ambition. Self-control. 11th house and the edge. This is talking about community. Collaboration. Collective friendship circles. Discovery as well. Philanthropy. Wishes. Sixth house and craft. Ooh. This one says work, details, health, well-being, diet, service, daily rituals, contribution, organization, purification, skills, apprenticeship, method. Um, the sixth house, house also has to do with health, wellness, um, work, service, duty, healing, pets, routines, that kind of thing. But I'm also getting with that craft energy, like big magic, big magic. Um, you may be drinking certain types of tea. There's an internal cleanse happening. You might be surrounding yourself with a few more crystals for your healing. If we look at this like um, diving into some fantasy that helps to ground you, that helps to... Um, curb something what is this curbing but like an, an expression a private expression helps you curb something whoa but then you're taking everything to the edge you're exploring so much and then you're creating new rituals around this this is a big like um yeah this is like a big self Self-care, let's call it that. <laughs> this is giving big, like, sexual energy. Um, whew. And you're really trying to, like, put, give yourself a container. Give yourself a, a, a space where you can express your intimacy and express your feelings and your obsessions and mystery and your kundalini energy that's rising up out of you. Um, to, like looking into obsessions that you might have and um, like erotic appeal that then you can manifest from a place of that, but also express a lot of yourself. And I think it's like a self-soothing mechanism. And when I hear the curb thing, it's so that you don't make dumb decisions. Um, you know, that song like made a dumb decision. Uh, I can't even think of how the rest of the song goes. I hear the songs in my head a lot when I'm doing readings and then I'd go to speak them and I can't. <laughs> um, but I know that will improve over time. It's a, yes, it's a with practice thing, I believe. But I think you're really taking yourself to the edge if you're edging in some way. Uh, if you know what I mean by that. But you're also like, um, there's a sense of creativity that is bubbling up with that energy, which makes complete sense because um, from your sacral chakra, there's a lot of like um, energy build up there. There's a, the, and it needs to feel safe. There's a big emphasis on feeling safe. And this is why I feel like it's like behind closed doors. It's private. Um, but there's a big pleasure center there. And it's giving me, em um, I was going to say empath. But it's giving me empress energy. You may also be an empath. And that's why you need to curb the the urge to just go and be rebellious. 
and actually like do the things you know you shouldn't do with the people you know you shouldn't be hanging around because they're like um, energy vampires and they're just trying to take, take, take. You may attract a lot of narcissists, Cancer. Um, so there is a sense of like developing a new ritual for your own self-love and self-pleasure. But this could also have to do with um, bringing someone else into the picture so that you can heal. Okay, because there is a deep healing. Sorry about the light changes, by the way. We're dealing with natural light this afternoon. Um, there is a deep healing that is taking place with this expression of energy. So whether it's a deep healing that, oh, my favorite word, the alchemist. Okay, um, I feel like you're really like turning your pain into pleasure and turning that pleasure into creative source, life force energy. Okay, because we can make life when we engage in that those kinds of acts. But I do feel um, there's a deep healing power that is coming from this. And if you are someone that doesn't engage in any of those acts, it's really like seeking pleasure from every part of your life. It's it's like, well, how do I serve my food to myself? How do I um, organize my work table? How do I um, dress my body? And how do I actually put my clothes on, you know, even making your shower, romanticizing every little part of your life and finding pleasure in all the little parts of your life. And that actually takes you to the edge. It takes you to experimentation and, oh, well, that worked and that didn't work. It may even take you to tribes, like it may, it, 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 wow, where did my voice go just then? It went <laughs> out of space for sure. Um, it's, it's connecting with people and I'm feeling like like-minded people, whether that is online, but really in person, in person events, in person meetings, in person festivals, in person like retreats possibly as well. Um, it could even be like a couple's retreat because I'm just seeing these two like gold figures here who look like their pain has been alchemized and they're now shimmering in gold. Okay, they're the shimmering gold. And it's taking you and your partner to the edge if you relate to some as someone who has a partner. Um, can we get some more information about this entire situation, please? Spirit for Cancer in the month of March. Let's talk about this intimacy. And the wisdom that comes from this. There's your energy right there, Cancer. Chariot energy, Major Arcana for Cancer. Something is definitely moving forward. And the Nine of Swords is talking about blockages or protection. It's talking about boundaries. Um, I think there's a, there's a there's a playfulness to this that is helping you to move forward, but it's also teaching you where your limits are, right? If you're taking something to the edge, there's still going to be a new limit. When we talk about boundaries, um, it's usually like talking about, well, this space in between is where we can play. This is where we can experiment and have fun and know that we're not going to fall off the cliff. This is where we can take our risks. But here's the boundary line. Here's the bandwidth of my personality. And it's like you're pulling your bandwidth out a bit, but there are still like there are still things that, um, that are giving you. I just saw this as the Knight of Sword, a Knight of Wands, but it's actually the Knight of Swords. Um, yeah, there's something where it's like playing on your mind. So this wisdom feels like. Look at that Kundalini energy almost entering into the into the Crown Chakra here. It feels like something on your mind. Um, but I also feel like you're keeping yourself up at night with all of this. If if it's the actual action that is keeping you up at night or whether it is um the 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 ideas and the inspiration that is coming from this is keeping you up at night i think the message for the nine of wands that i was getting with the bandwidth is really still there it's in expression it's it's knowing your boundaries and knowing where um you feel safe and that's part of the wisdom energy there the sun leo energy you could be dealing with a leo it's really about pleasure and making yourself feel warm and safe, which is something you love to do, Cancer, as you, like, retreat back into your shell. Hmm. Tell us more. Ace of Wands. It wanted to come in reverse. What is this Ace of Wands? Um, there may be a delay in 
an offer, uh, in a passionate offer coming forward. And this is why you're feeling a sense of disappointment. And this is why you may have to take things into your own hands, okay? If you know what I mean. There's still so much hope, though, with this sun energy. This is like, um, I feel so good even though there's this delay. The tower, yeah. Um, a lot of gunk is breaking down out of your body. You actually are moving so many um, inhibiting thoughts, limiting beliefs. And actually stepping into a place of power. The sun is extremely powerful, self-aware, um, and can power their own carriage. Okay, with this chariot energy of moving forward, you're powering your own ch chariot. You're powering your own um, body forward in momentum um, into the future, like a future version of you. Like you're stepping into like your. It's almost like your body is catching up to the timeline of that that breakdown that we had but also your mind your body is catching up your mind is actually catching up to your body but your body is catching up to your destiny it's catching up to the version of yourself that you've always wanted to be and although there is an offer that wants to come through someone i feel wants to come through a passionate offer a passionate um connection wants to come through it is delayed and there is a sense of disappointment about this delay but i feel like you know that you're going to be okay because of the work that you've been putting in right you might not hear about this delay until the end of the month but i feel like that's um is still part of the healing it's still part of taking things to the edge okay i've just i've come this far and now there's this test and that always happens if you think about when we're learning something and we're really tapping into our wisdom, we learn a little bit and get tested on it. We learn a little bit and get tested on it just to make sure it all sticks. And I feel like this wants to stick. This power within you that is coming up out of you, it's asking you to keep exploring by yourself until you have um, enough resources within to actually craft yourself a whole new beginning here, to craft... Um, what health really looks and feels like for you, Cancer, for a big feeler. This is about not just how health looks, but how it works, how it feels, how wellness feels in, in your entire body. Um, yeah, big emphasis on daily routines there. And making pleasure part of your daily routine so that this offer of pleasure feels like it's perfectly timed to come through look at this person just about to walk through this portal which almost looks like a mirror as well i just heard don't worry the five of cups won't last too long the moon <laughs> more of your energy in tarot it's ruled by pisces so major arcana for cancer pisces and leo here um yeah i mean there's this this isn't going to be revealed to you just yet Okay, but you do have like a divine pair here with the moon and the sun. What is what has been in the dark will come to light. Okay, what has been in the dark will come to light. It's just requiring that little bit more like self time. And it's that's as blank as I can put it self time. What happens after this self time? What happens after? Can you reveal some more? I know the moon is saying there's things you don't yet know. What do we not need to know? What happens after this healing? The lovers. <laughs> yes, it does. Who? Four of Cups. I just heard an offer you can't refuse and an offer you won't want to refuse. Oi, oi, oi. Five of Swords. It's coming out in reverse. Um, yeah, with this Four of Cups... I feel like you've been potentially, um, this delay is so that you, I mean, you're potentially bored. You're potentially sick of it. You're potentially like, this is why I need to like mix up my own. And there's that, that big like alchemy energy of like mixing something up, you know, turning that, keep working that pain, keep, and I'm getting that swirling motion, which could appear to be something else and it's everything is for a reason <laughs> for sure um i and this and then look at the self-focus there look at the self-focus 
there's still more divine guidance that is coming through for you and you may be getting it at night um the nine of swords often talks about being kept up at night and then the moon energy here it really does feel like there's wisdom that is coming down specifically to you you must hear this cancer you must hear this and this energy is going to give you the power the key the the warmth to be able to continue while you wait for this lover to come through okay because we don't just sit in waiting our whole lives waiting for the next person we're not just sitting around waiting for our soulmate we have to remember to be our own best friend first okay and this is about putting like i'm just hearing like putting misunderstandings to bed okay so this is an offer you can't refuse where a misunderstanding will be set right it's just requiring a little bit more time the full <laughs> Remember how we were talking about bandwidths and expanding your version of yourself and having a safe place to play so that you don't fall off the edge? There's the fool taking the leap off the edge. When you know that you are completely safe, when you know that you are completely whole and full and um, satiated, right? Big satiation energy. And you're moving forward from that place, Cancer then you feel safe to completely jump into your lover's arms okay you'll you will say a, a better yes okay this is holding out for a better yes a full bodied full mind body soul yes okay to what is coming next knight of cups and they're coming they are coming they're preparing themselves and they're, they're going to be genuine and they may also be mirroring with this like ace of wands and the mirror kind of feeling that i'm getting here i think they're mirroring this energy towards you and again it could be a leo let's get some advice for you i'm gonna take that one courage oh i just want to give you a big hug my fellow cancers i can feel it no one is fearless no one but even though i'm not fearless i am courageous when fear shows up i don't run away from it i use my courage to conquer it my courage allows me to walk right up to that fear and kick it in the nuts and then quickly hide behind someone bigger until it goes away yeah you're becoming more courageous more and more courageous as you go forward this is the wisdom that will become so resourceful like will become so useful for you as you go to the edge as you keep going to the edge just go to the edge am i ready yet go to the edge am i ready yet go to the edge of what you want and what you desire and what makes you happy and what makes you fulfilled and go to the edge of your routine keep testing experimenting testing experimenting does this feel good does that feel good let's enjoy this i'm going to enjoy that here are my rituals and my life if you you are flying solo dolo you're you're entertaining yourself in the best possible way and it's building your courage it's building your strength so that this is strength energy as well this sun energy the leo it's just all the major arcana for leo is is actually you might be a cuspy you might be a cancer leo cuspy um but i just feel like when you're you feel like your life is down pat you've got that that rhythm beautiful flow that you love because you do love that cancer you like to have routine and rhythm and feeling safe in a safe home to come home to even if you adventure a lot even if you take things to the edge a lot even if you're super creative and expressive and you're super um like hungry for that intimacy you're giving all of this to yourself so that you can build your courage so that you can like almost not fake it till you make it but like you're um you're becoming it there's no other way to say it you're becoming more courageous every move you make and that is actually going to serve you so well to be courageous enough to say that that better yes i love that it's so beautiful let's get the best best thing that is happening in love from the story dice please the best thing okay there's a magnification on the steps that you need to take yes we just said that and the things that you are 
um, like the skeletons in your closet. So there is still some like shadow work to be done here with this moon energy. Um, but I feel like you're you're actually getting the most out of life when there's just bare bones left. You're you're taking every morsel that you can get um, to satisfy and to have these steps actually revealed and to have these steps achieved. Um, it's because it's time to bounce. It's time to move forward. It's time to like take the wheel and steer. It's time to. Um, it's just like a. You know how when you dribble in basketball, it's like. Just keep working on that, perfect that, and then, then you can shoot the hoop, okay? <laughs> um, it's going to feel like you're alone. Why does it always rain on me? I just heard, okay? It can feel like you're all alone in this, um, which feels so weird, okay? I understand to have the intimacy card come up, and it's an interesting concept for a lot of people to really be intimate with themselves, but it's, it's really asking for that. And in fact, what happens is that rain is clarifying, that rain is purifying, and it's there's the wisdom, the ABC. This is it's purifying the healing here. That's the purification of that rain falling down. And the ABC is all these new blocks coming into like their right formation, almost like a Rubik's Cube. It's like, ah, oh, aha, this is this is how it works. Children could also be a factor in this person being delayed or the delay that is um, happening here for you. Um, but I also feel like a new childlike sense of adventure is coming through for you as well. Um, and that's why it's going to feel like I'm building my courage, right? Yeah, you're going to you're going to kick fear in the nuts and then you're going to hide behind like the bigger version of yourself until you feel like you can actually step into that and embody that bigger version of yourself. There's a sense of stability here, a sense of um, surviving any storm. And then I saw the fireworks, but then it's twisted and I saw what did I saw? Oh, the fruit. So at first there was fireworks, right? So you're holding out for that and you're stabilizing. Oh gosh, where is it? The palm tree. <laughs> it feels like you can weather any storm. You're starting to become so bold and strong um, that you can weather any storm. Oh, that's not the thing I wanted to show. And there's the fireworks, okay? So when, when you feel like you are fully in you're able to bend with whatever comes and you're able to remain beautiful, courageous, strong, you know, assertive, wise, and fully satisfied no matter what happens, then the fireworks are happening, okay? A lot of fire... Well, the fireworks are happening within you first and then they happen with this person. I feel like you're going to be taken by surprise and I don't feel like there's actually too much longer to wait here. Um, and that's why there's a bite out of the fruit. It's like the sweetness of life is just around the corner. For some, you're coming into spring. Um, and I feel like you feel it. It's here. Like you're, it's spring is here. Obviously, we're, we're in that season now. But it's like you're really feeling it. Um, starting to get that juiciness out of life. Yeah. You're extracting all the juiciness out of life. Wow. Let me know how this resonated in the comments below, please, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you. Good luck. Enjoy. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.